The gospel needs to be both experienced and expressed. It was Jesus himself when he came to Nazareth. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim the year of the Lord. If that was Jesus' call, if you like, and that's what he felt he was here to do. Then, as his disciples, his followers, those who learn from his life, we need to accept not the challenge to do what Jesus did, but to live like Jesus lived. And so we need to be making a response to the poor. We need to be helping those who are spiritually and socially blind to find their sight. And we need to be making a response to the socially poor. If we are to live as Jesus lived, then we must include the excluded, as he did. We must challenge cultural practices where they're limiting and where they're onerous. We must advocate for the poor and the oppressed. And we must confront the powerful where the power base needs confronting. All of this seems sometimes a little daunting, and yet all of it's possible in the name and in the presence and through the Holy Spirit of God. And so we, his children, who are called according to his purpose and will, need to live not only in his likeness, but to act as he act, acted and take him as our model.